total shoulder, who is four weeks post-op, who's getting rid of the sling today. And we're going through and assessing neuromuscular function. So when I'm assessing her, this is not a manual muscle test because we don't do manual muscle tests. So when I'm assessing her for internal rotation, which would be subscap, go ahead and don't let me rotate you out. I'm telling her, don't let me rotate you out, but I'm basically just blocking her and letting her go into internal rotation to test facilitation of a subscap because I know subscap didn't work before surgery. It's inhibited because of surgery, swelling, uh, being locked in a sling for four weeks. So I already know it's not going to pass. So I don't have to crank on her. So when we're assessing neuromuscular function, A, we're assessing neuromuscular uh, ability to fire, not gross manual strength. So we don't have to give a lot of uh, force. And B, that will keep them away from any kind of danger as far as their precautions go. Don't let me rotate toward me. So now she can give me pressure and she can kick into me. So as I go through, I'm not really giving her pressure. I'm just blocking and letting her give me pressure. As she gets facilitation to come back, then I will start giving her uh, force. Now, what about patients who can't get into the position? So I'll answer that now. So if you're in the Facebook group, you're gonna get this.